Hey guys, okay, so today what we're going to be doing is a, um, I guess kind of like a review. This is my hair. It's just like wet, um, it's not completely wet, unfortunately. But today the product we're going to be reviewing is this. It's like this, uh, Conair blow dryer. It's a mid-sized styler. <laughs> Um, and it is the 1875 watt. Um, one thing I did notice when I was looking at blow dryers is they were all 1875 watt. It was just, you're just picking what size you want. And I mean, I went to Walmart because I'm not looking for something that like is super expensive and amazing quality. Like I just need my hair blow dried. Like, so I got this one. I don't really need a huge one. My last one was kind of big and I travel a lot and I move a lot, <laughs> as you guys can see. Um, yeah, I just hit myself in the face, go me. But, uh, so I don't need this massive ass, I mean, <laughs> this massive blow dryer to be carrying around and, you know, like, I just think it's easier if it's a little smaller and the tiny ones seemed ridiculous. So I'm going to dig in while I'm talking. So, the mid-size seemed like a good deal. It was about $12, maybe $13. I think it was like $12.90 something. What are you? Uh, so, when you open the box, it comes out of the package like this. This is the little, I think it's a little cone thing you put on the front. Yep. And then the blow dryer. Woo! I do, my first blow dryer that I really loved had the, uh, like, what is it retractable handle and I really like that but the one there was 30 bucks and this one was 12 I was like I'm paying twice the price to what be able to wind my blow dryer up like I can just wrap the cord around it it's not a big deal um okay here it is set the packaging first observations very light pretty cheap and it's high low off so there is no medium setting. I'm just gonna go ahead and show you what I will be using in just a second. But um, this, actually you can see the hairs in it, how attractive, is just a normal paddle brush. It's what I choose to dry, blow dry my hair with. Everybody's different. Wide well, tooth comb, I already combed my hair a little bit, so there's definitely some hair in there. Whenever my hair is wet, I don't like to like brush it. You like that helmet hair? I don't like to like brush it, like with a like brush brush. I just wide tooth comb it and I will be using some heat protectant. This is just Walmart, but there you go. It's from Walmart. It's super cheap. Um, I put coconut oil all over my entire head. So what I do is I take a little glop, put on my hands, super greasy, <laughs> super oily. And I really just go through my head and just kind of play with my hair a little. <laughs> all right. Oh, I guess I can show you my shampoo and conditioner, too. The one I'm using, I always use the same brand. This is just the scent. Well, like, I don't know if it's the scent. Like, the uh, feature? I don't know. Whatever I'm using this week. I'm using the green one. It is the uh, tea tree mint. Um, I love it because, like, I love the mint. I always use organics. Um, it just depends on which one. I like this one, and I like the coconut one. comes in the brown bottle. That's a good one. I'm just going to comb that through a little bit. Okay, this is low, and this is high. Yeah, that's pretty hot. Whew. Okay, downsides to moving. I can't find a clip, so we're going to use a ponytail. This one's super stretched out, so I'm going to have to loop it like a million times, which is a little annoying, but we're going to work with what we got. Right, right now, I'm just making a section with my hair about that big. I'm gonna take like this big section and put heat protectant on it. This is about how much I use. It's not crazy a lot because for me it makes my hair like kind of greasy. And then I already have the coconut oil in there, so it shouldn't really need crazy amounts. And I put it everywhere with concentration on the end. Okay, my hands are so greasy. I'm about to drop this. Look at how shiny they are. Like look. <sighs> Let's see what it's hitting for. Um, oh, I don't know if you can hear it. There's a fan right there just because my hair smokes a little when there's product on it. I guess everyone's does, but I don't know. I get scared. I'm going to set the house, like, the smoke detector off. 
because I use a lot of products. So I don't want to burn my hair out of my head. But, um, yeah, it seems like a decent straightener. This is about how straight my hair normally gets. Look, there's so much product in it. I can do whatever I want, and it's going to stay. All right. So I'm probably just going to go through one more time and then pull that on the next section. I jumped because I touched the bristles. They were hot. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, it's looks like it's doing all right. Hmm. It smells a little burny in here, which is making me a little nervous. And then the uh I feel like this part is not as dry as it would, or I mean as straight as it would normally get, but this is the coarsest part of my hair, so, I mean, I don't know, and that section was a little thick, so, I don't know, I'm not, it's like, not like I'm like mad or anything, but. I'm just going through and feeling it right now. Like, but my hair feels good. Like, it doesn't feel like, um, like brittle or like this blow dryer is like, I don't know, the, I don't know how to describe it. Like, like it doesn't feel like this blow dryer is like, like making it. Yeah, have you ever blow dried your hair with one of the hotel blow dryers? And it'll like make your hair feel like it's gonna fall out of your head. Like, it'll get so brittle and damaged and disgusting. I know Pink Sparkles was saying that, like, that happened to her. She, like, um, used the, like, a hotel blow dryer, and it, like, really damaged her hair. This is my straightened fro. Straightened blow dryer fro. Yeah, overall, I would say this is an acceptable blow dryer. Bye, guys.